Hi, I'm Stephen the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply. I've got a great product from ZooMed. It's the new ZooMed Reptibator Digital Egg Incubator. It's fantastic. And today, this format's going to be a little different because we are lucky enough to have Andy Quinn, who is the educational coordinator for ZooMed Laboratories, on the phone with us today. And Andy, I'm, I'm really curious about the fact that this incubator, it's so different. We're really, really impressed with the incubator because it's got a lot of features that we haven't seen in reptile egg incubators before, especially the proportional thermostat, which I really love. So can you tell me about a little bit about what makes this incubator so special and what kind of testing you did to develop this incubator? aspects in the technology of the Reptibator, the proportional thermostat. The proportional thermostat differs from most thermostats in that it's actually going to turn the incubator's power up and down, whereas a standard thermostat it turns things on and off. Um, by, turning it the, um, by turning it up and down, it's going to allow us to get within a very precise range of temperatures, which is what exactly what we need when we're incubating eggs. Um, the Reptibator is going to be uh, hit the mark either plus or minus one degree, whether it be Fahrenheit or Celsius of your desired temperature. Um, that's going to allow people to program exactly what temperature they're, they're seeking, and it's going to keep the incubator within that range. Um, one, one great thing about the new Reptibator is that Everything is on a digital readout screen, so there's no guessing. It's going to give you a precise temperature where that you have set, and it's also going to have a hygrostat, or a, a, excuse me, a hygrometer, which is going to read out your uh, relative humidity, which is going to also be the other crucial part of, of incubating eggs successfully. Zoom in makes it really easy to adjust this proportional thermostat. The instructions are right on the face. And it's simple to change your temperature setting. As it says here, you set the temperature by pressing the red up button and then simply changing your temperature by hitting the blue cooler button to make it cooler or the red up button to make it warmer. To set the alarm, which will basically tell you by flashing this LCD screen, if you are off, you can actually set it to how many degrees off you want it to be. So let's say you have it set to 94 and you want it to go off if it drops to, if it goes up past 97 or if it goes below 91. So what you can do there is simply set the temperature by pressing the blue down and then pressing how many degrees you want it to tell you with alarm. So let's say in this case, we want it to be uh, within two degrees. So if we want it to be within two degrees, and if it's not within two degrees, it will start flashing if it's not. In this case, you can see the temp has already started to flash because it's not within the two degree setting. And it's going to start this entire screen flashing in a few moments as well if it doesn't correct shortly. So the entire LCD will start blinking. So the last thing is you can set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit by pressing and holding the red up button and then pushing the blue button. That will now change it to Celsius. To change it back to Fahrenheit, you simply do the same thing. Press and hold the red button and then hit the blue button and you're back to Fahrenheit. It's really a very simple thermostat to program and a very nice digital display of what's going on inside the incubator. Um, over a year of testing has gone into the Reptibator and we're proud to, to have hatched out um, some many day gecko eggs and we're currently working on panther chameleon eggs that are incubating as we speak and we're, we're really excited about it. Um, we, the, the new heating element is actually a rigid 55 watt heating element, um, which differs from most of the other incubators out on the market. It allows a more even 
heating of the incubator. Um, we have a new ventilation system that we designed here that allows the, um, pretty much allows a flow through ventilation with a sponge. So there's a sponge that goes at the bottom of the incubator, allows people to saturate that with water, and then um, that's going to slowly release water into the air, which is ultimately going to raise the humidity. And the new flow, flow through system that has been created allows even ventilation of the entire um, inside of the incubator, which is really going to keep your humidity at a set level. Um, and it's easy to add water if you need to increase the humidity as time goes on. Um, some other features of the Repubator that are great are, is the plastic cover. Um, the plastic top allows you to see through. Um, one, of the, one of the challenges we have is, as herpetoculturists in hatching eggs is we have to check on our eggs to see if we need to, for instance, add water or make it drier. And part of that is being able to see the eggs themselves. Uh, before the Repubator came out, folks would have to take the top of the, rep of the incubator off which is ultimately letting the, um, water, you know, the humidity escape, and it's going to change your temperature regimen. Andy, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk to us about this incubator. At Big Apple, we really love this incubator, and we think our customers are going to love it too. So we really appreciate the time you spent with us today. Well, thank you for having me on. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you and your listeners. We appreciate the, the great support from Big Apple Pet Supply. This incubator is available in the reptile supply section in our incubators department, and it's available for same-day shipping as with most of our products. And again, I want to thank you. I'm Stephen the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply.